Well, I don't know if you saw the video where I made these leaves using old drinks cans. I'm going to make some more as well in different colours now. I've got some different coloured cans. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it at the end. It's really easy to make. But what I want to do is I want to mount that on something to put on the wall. I wanted it to be something very different. So I've got some organic material here that I'm going to mix with the metal. And this is Willow. I got it. It's really cheap. I've had it soaking in the bath overnight because that then makes it really flexible to be able to put it round something like this and for it to then take on the shape that you want. All I need to do is get an elastic band like this. I've just got all random things here as well that I'm going to put it round. I've got an old piece of metal pipe. I've got a flask. I've got some wooden dowel. So it should twist round there. Look really really easily now and then pop an elastic band there at the end of that one hold that in place and then let it dry and once it's dried it will keep on that shape and it's really surprising how small you can get these twists. I've got a piece of wooden dowel here that I'm going to do the same with. Now if I had a steam thing, I, I could have probably put this in a steamer and rather than had it soaking in water overnight. But I don't. So I find that this method works really, really well. This one's going to give me a much tighter spiral. And if I want it tighter than that, I can just push that up there and then work it around like that. I want it straight at the end. So I'm just holding that on the end like that. And then I can put something on the end there to stop that coming undone and let it dry. These are all dry now. I left them overnight to dry. So they should have stayed in the positions that I've put them in. They might spring back a little bit, but not a great deal. I did some of these in my house a while back for some lights and they came out really well. So look at that. That's lovely and spirally. Let's have a look at the really small tight one that I did. Look at that. Look at who that is. I love that. Oh, wish I'd done a longer one of that now. I might have to do a longer one of that to have in my house. It's much cheaper doing it like this than buying them all pre-done if you can get hold of some normal willow. So there we are. We've got our five strands now and I want them all to come out like this from the bottom bits, which we left fairly straight. Look, I'm not sure I like the one that's not very tight. I think the ones that are tighter look better. Now it's just a case of being able to put these together. So I'm going to leave the larger one out and just use those four. And I'm going to put those together. So that's the order I'm going to have them in. And now how I'm going to put those together is by using a bit of twine. Because again, it's a very organic looking thing twine is, isn't it? And how I'm going to do that is I'm going to weave these together at the bottom like this. And then go through the other way back again for about three or four goes under over under over under over push them up okay so i've got several weaves there now and that should hold them fairly well into place we are going to have a back to this so i'm going to push that loop back through there like that okay and then i'm going to put that bottom loop there over that one should hold them in place like that and then i'm going to glue that on using my hot glue gun and then they should be fairly stable there now how we've got them so pop a bit of glue on there like that run that in i'm also going to pop a bit on each of these bits as well at the back the glue will stick amazingly to this sort of twine and then from the front we've got it looking like that and now we can fan those out a little bit like that we'll let that dry completely now and then i'm going to put in some bits here to keep that in that shape as well so this is where i've decided to put them each of them and again I'm going to attach them using some twine and they should attach fairly simply one would hope. I'm going to attach them through one leaf and then around the other and then I'm going to add a little bit of glue to the side there stick that onto so it doesn't just fall down and that's that one stuck on there I'm going to go ahead connect the rest the same way and then I'll show you how I'm going to hang it up so I'm going to hang it up using a twine little loop that I'm going to glue onto the back here now if you didn't want to leave these cans all the can colors I quite like them like that that's why I did them out of different cans then you could spray this with any spray paint that's suitable for using with metal you could have it gold you could have it silver you could have it brass blue black yellow 
Oh, I'm just listing colours now. I wouldn't mind if I could see them. And I tell you, you're going to be really surprised how good this looks when it gets put up. Well, there we go. I've hung that up now. It's on my back wall in my studio. I haven't decided where I'm going to put it in my house, but I am definitely going to put it in my house. I think that looks amazing. The colours look great. You wouldn't know it was made from cans unless someone told you. I love the way the willow has gone all lovely and twisty. Let me know in the comments what you think. Give it a go. It's really easy to do. Don't forget, if you want to know how to make these leaves, then I'll link that video at the end of this one. It's well worth a watch because you make them out of cardboard, all sorts of different things. Don't forget to boob that like button. It really helps my videos to get out there. Hit that subscribe button. Take care. Enjoy your crafting. Bye.